participants here today every one of these participants have some very special skills and talents today we are going to introduce Nori Jung Nori is a karate expert besides being a producer here at Manhattan Na Neighborhood Network and Nori you have 30 seconds to do your demo we'd love to see you <laughs> come back come back I think they've got the camera Right. Okay. Do it on your mat. They'll get you. They'll get you. That's it. Beautiful. Very nice. One of these days, you're going to have to explain what all of that means. But, Nori, as a karate expert, I'm sure you know what it means. But one of these days, maybe if you have some time, sure. explain to our viewers. We'll have an episode mm -hmm. with you doing a greater demo. But it's amazing how you. focused you can be when Thank you're you. doing something. Thank you for having I was me. expecting to see a little bit of a karate oh, chop sure. right there. You me to? Oh, no, no, next time. <laughs> <laughs> we'd love to see that. But maybe tomorrow, when you come in tomorrow's yeah, episode, yeah. we'd love that. I would, I would love do that. The, the yang, yeah. But I would, Respect the herd, I have you know, to give you the foam block so you can chop yeah. the brick and chop. <laughs> do you mean doing the bed? No, tomorrow, yes, tomorrow. Yes. We'd love to see that. Yeah. To Nori's right and to my immediate, thank you, Nori, that was amazing. Uh, to my immediate left, we have Indra Dudnath. Indra, welcome back to the show. How thank did you, you sleep yesterday? I slept like a baby. <laughs> she um, slept like this, this is very similar to yoga. The, what is it, martial the stretches, arts? The stretch like... I think so. It's yeah. martial arts, martial arts right. is, It's very similar mm -hmm. to yoga. It's like we, we, can, we can learn to, to do that. That's and, right. And One of these days we'll have Nori as a from, special guest. Yeah. From martial arts to yoga. That's right. Mm -hmm. Nori, because, you know, because all of you're these... You're it. You're going to lead a class one day and teach sure. us something. Yoga okay. is, uh, you know, necessity, you know, stretch before we do the yin. Ah, okay. Yoga is very important. So the yin and the yang of stretching. Yoga is the calming sense. Yes, yeah, I see that. Part. Exactly. So, so yoga is, uh, you, you know, including breathing. Right. And all exactly. stretch from internal, you know, all the organs. Very important. It's beautiful. You know, you know, growing up, we um, we used to eat very healthy. We used right. to eat. We didn't eat meat, really. Right, right, right. We ate fish. We ate garden-grown vegetables, and we didn't even think about it. We just ate healthy. And now, right. you know, but in America, there's so many food choices, and it's great. You know, you can eat your pizza and then jump to your donut, eat, live, and pray. <laughs> and, and, and you know, it's great to have so many food choices, but That's to eat true. such bad things that you know, um, and we really need this in our life. And and you know, yoga, martial arts, we just you know, mm -hmm. the exercise, a little bit of things that not not just exercise. But the, 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 the yoga, the stretching, right. it, it helps. It's great for Definitely. the body. It's amazing. You feel great too. Yeah. Thanks for bringing that up. We're going to talk about nutrition in another mm -hmm. episode when we have an expert on that too. Sounds but good. thank you, Indra. Darwin Reyna to my immediate right. Darwin, a little more. Do you have a secret racing history? Any secret martial arts <laughs> background? No, no, no. I know you're a. But you were a reporter, right, yeah, in Spain? In Barcelona, yeah. Okay, then I knew years, you had a secret side to you for two years. Yeah. What did you report on? About a, a 
uh, Spanish, uh, famous Spanish people, you know, about famous yeah, people? interviews and stuff like that. Yeah. Nice. Okay, so you got yeah. to meet all the famous uh, yeah, people in Spain. Yeah, yeah, many, many of them. Yeah, it You're was, great. It was a good experience, but I just want to be an actor, so I was like, right. I need to, you know, go to the next next level. level. Yeah. yeah. Thank you for having me. Again. It's our pleasure. <laughs> pleasure. I feel good since you know. That's right. It's a yeah. double double uh, bonus, right? You feel Absolutely. good, and you're teaching our viewers something. Yeah. So welcome back to the show. Thank I'm so, so happy much, you're back. Right? This is a healing. healing <laughs> it's very healing. Yeah, That's healing. right. To Darwin's right and my extreme right, Ron Thomas is a producer here at Manhattan Neighborhood Network. Ron, any words of wisdom for our viewers? How do you do it? How do you stay so focused? You're always here, and I love it. Very inspiring to see you come regularly. Yeah, I love it. You I feel always, good? I always wanted to do yoga. Good. So now you're here. Yeah, you know, people around me always talk about yoga. And right. I was invited to do yoga when I was in I, high school and I didn't. So. I know. You didn't have someone like me to drag you on the mat, no, right? I, <laughs> <laughs> I can be very persuasive, but I'm really happy that you're here, Ron. You know, the more important thing... I'm under thing, your spell, actually. <laughs> under my spell. Yeah. Ooh. Spell but the good, me, no, the good thing is... I can't refuse. <laughs> the good thing is, the first time I dragged you on the mat, but after that, you've been coming because you're enjoying yourself. So I feel, we all feel very motivated and inspired by it that. It feels so good. I mean, it feels good, right? Yeah. Every now and then we hear Ron saying, ow, ouch. The pain but he is still comes back. Lovely. It's a good, happy <laughs> pain. Yeah. Said, who, who said you need to be in a happy place, <laughs> Teresa? Yeah, it's a nice pain. You feel good. Welcome back to the show, Ron. It's really nice to see you, very inspiring, very motivating. We're all going to take you through the next lot of transitional postures today. We're going to continue from where we left off yesterday. So we're going to stand up right now. We'll all stand up, take you through a posture called Garudasan. Garuda is eagle. And it basically what it does, we scrunch up the whole front of the body. So we're compacting the whole front of the body. Usually in yoga, we stretch a lot. We open up. And this time we're going to tighten the whole, this pelvic belt is a part you want to watch out for, tighten yourself. So what we're going to do first is transfer the weight to your left leg. Very gently, use the props that you already have and cross your right thigh over your left thigh. And if you're ready, try and wrap your right foot over your left calf. Now when you've got it nicely twined across, you want to bend your left knee. Right knee is up, inhale, the left arm up. This is a balanced posture, look ahead. At a point that doesn't move, don't look at Zaki. Exhale, dip your left elbow over the right and wrap, twine your hands together. Twine your arms together and look ahead. Inhale, straighten the left knee, untangle your leg, right leg, and then untangle your arms. Let's stretch on the other side. Once we finish this first balance posture, I'd like to introduce our crew and our facilitator and also tell you a little more about when you can watch this program. Cross your left thigh over. I think we got a little carried away with Nori's demo. Cross the left thigh over your right thigh and try to tuck your left foot behind your right calf. Left knee is up, right arm goes up. Inhale, exhale, dip the right elbow over the left and twine your arms together and hold. Look at a point that doesn't move. Inhale, release the leg first and then untangle your arms and relax. We're going to take you through a posture called Uttanasana. Before we do that, first of all, let's get our feet out. Keep the insides of your feet parallel to each other. Uttan is also called Ragdoll in North America. It's very relaxing and it also gives a wonderful release to the whole back of the body. It's a beautiful extension, spinal extensor release. Before we do that, before we take you through that posture, I'd like to remind you, which I forgot earlier, Man uh, this episode, this program is taped in the studios of Manhattan Neighborhood Network. We air Monday through Friday at 1.30 Eastern Time on Time 157, RCN 84, and Fios 35. Today's episode would not have been possible if we did not have two very strong directors who have teamed up so well today. We have Z Starman and Dean Loren as our directors today. We have uh, all these gobos, the lights, and the studio sounds were all arranged by uh, Drew Taylor, our facilitator. Thank you so much to all of you for the great teamwork. 
bring your feet parallel to each other. Inhale the arms up to shoulder height, palms facing down. Keep inhaling, take your arms all the way overhead, palms facing in, cross over, hold on to the opposite elbows. Once you've made that connection, wiggle your biceps behind your ears and you want to make sure that your pelvis is nice and tight. We're going to exhale and fold from the hip. Exhale and fold. Keep your back nice and straight. You should feel a wonderful release of the spinal extensors, the whole back of the body. Please hold that. The whole back of the body will get a wonderful release. So your spinal, your spinal column re, uh, feels wonderful and relaxed. Do you feel that, Indra? Oh, yes. Feel, stay there, <laughs> please. It's beautiful. And you should also feel a wonderful stretch of your hamstrings and the sciatic nerves in the back of your legs. So let's hold it. We're gonna come down all the way into downward facing dog. Indra's favorite posture. <laughs> release, release your hands, place them Place your palms on the floor. Take your right leg, left leg back, and then the right leg back. Now I'll sleep like this. You can bend your knees if you want to to get down. Bend your knees. That's it. Beautiful. Place your palms on the floor. Take your legs back, and you want to place your heels flat on the mat. Now, if your heels do not make that connection today, that's perfectly okay. Use a block. Use a, anything that will help you make that connection. Have some contact with either the floor and the heel or with on a block and keep releasing keep exhaling and release your head between your biceps and hold this posture is known as adho mukha shwanasana adho is downward mukha is face or facing shwana is dog downward facing dog indra this posture is dedicated to you i know you love thank this thank you i am the downward <laughs> facing dog that's at right night to sleep you should <laughs> And also you'll feel, Darwin, I think you'll notice this is a wonderful stretch behind your calf. <laughs> you feel it, right? Yes, very good. Keep holding. Now, let's inhale, bring the right foot between the hands. Inhale, bring the right foot between the hands. Place your left knee on the floor, uncurl your toes in the left foot and let's ease off. Ashwa Sanchala. Ashwini is horse, Ashwa Sanchala equestrian or like a horse. Ron, how do you feel after that stretch? Oh, yeah, I thought it was going to be a different move. <laughs> <laughs> but you feel good, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, place your, both your hands on your right knee, exhale and dip. Ashwini, a horse. We're going to take this one step further, take you through a posture. It's a beautiful twist for the obliques on the right, on either side of your waist. We're going to take this one step further. Inhale the left arm up, Parsva Kona Namaskara. Parsva is intense corners, Kona Namaskara is prayer. Intense prayer twist. Exhale, dip the left elbow over the right knee. Place the right palm on top of the left and raise your right elbow. Look up at the raised elbow. You want to uncurl your toes in the left foot, Darwin. Otherwise, that's too much. If you keep your foot curled, you want to, oh yeah, that's it, beautiful. Remember, if your toes are curled in, <clears throat> you'll still feel the stretch, but you'll also feel a lot of pressure on your knees. So you want to keep your feet, the tops of your feet flat. Careful, you're okay, you're doing fine. This is also a bit of a balanced posture, so if you do come out of the posture, get right back in. Inhale, let's release, let's ease off. Let's place our palms beside the right foot, take the right foot back, and let's bring the left foot forward. We need to twist and stretch on the other side. Uncurl your toes in the right foot. Let's ease off just a little bit. Place your palms on your left knee. Exhale and dip. <clears throat> Ashwa Sanchal, Ashwini is horse. Now, we're gonna take this one step further. Inhale the right arm up. Left knee is up, right arm goes up. Exhale. Dip the right elbow over the left knee. Place the left palm on top of your right and raise the left elbow. Look up at the raised elbow and hold. This time you should feel a beautiful stretch in your obliques on the right side. Stay right there, hold it. The right side, obliques are right here at your midpoint. You should feel a beautiful stretch right there. You'll also feel a wonderful stretch of the front of your upper right thigh, your quad muscles on the right leg. Inhale, let's come out of that and let's come into 
another favorite posture of Indra's. I think everything is your favorite posture, right? <laughs> the cat posture. Well, come on our hands oh, yes, and knees. I, I think Ron cats. likes this one too, right, Ron? This is very relaxing. Yeah. This is relaxing. It is relaxing. Those of you who have cats at home, please observe them. If you have pets, cats and dogs, watch how they learn to relax. Hands are directly below the shoulders. Knees are directly below the hips. <clears throat> your fingers are nicely splayed. This time your toes are curled in. What we're gonna do, and I'm gonna talk you through that in just a moment. This posture is also known as Marjari. Marjari means cat. It's gonna be a beautiful undulating motion of the spine. So it's like a wave, the spine goes in and out. We're gonna inhale, bring our chin, chest, and buttocks up. So we dip the torso when we inhale with our toes curled in. Then we'll uncurl the toes, exhale, and arch the back. Let's try that one time first. Inhale and dip the torso. So lift your chin and chest up, bring your buttocks up, dip your torso. Uncurl your toes, exhale, and arch the back. Let's try that one more time to redeem ourselves. Curl your toes in, inhale, and dip. Keep your elbows close to you. Uncurl your toes, arch your back. Let's come up on our knees in Ustra Asan. Ustra is camel. And this posture will, in, it will involve a little bit of a back bend. So you need to engage your low back muscles. We're gonna turn to face the front left side of our mat. So that way we can stagger ourselves. You can watch us in profile. Keep your knees at hip width. So if you keep them really close, just know that when your knees are really close to you, especially in a back bend, there is a more intense stretch. You feel the pressure on your the front of your thighs, but if you're not ready for that today, it's always safe to keep them at hip width. Now, you can also curl your toes in, but just remember there's more pressure on the knees when your toes are curled in, even though it's closer to your hands. I'm gonna keep my feet flat, but if you think your knees are, you have very strong knees, you can keep your toes curled in and you can reach your heel much quicker. I'll keep my feet flat. I don't mind if I don't reach my knees. Place your palms on your buttocks. Ustras, and Ustra is camel. Push your elbows back. That'll bring your chest out. Engage your low back muscles. So you want to tighten your low back. Inhale, lift the chin up. Once you go past midpoint, start exhaling and glide your palms down the back of your legs. Right hand reaches for the right heel. Left hand reaches for the left heel. And once you've made that connection, tilt your pelvis forward and tilt your head back. Tilt your head back and hold. Very gently inhale. If you don't reach your ankles, that's okay. You can place your hands in the back of your thighs. Place your hands back on your buttocks. One hand at a time. Inhale, let's come up. And let's not relax too soon right now. We're gonna get you into another very light back bend. Let's sit on our heels. This time you can bring your knees a little closer. We're gonna sit on our heels. It's called Supta Vajra, supine diamond. Vajra or Vaira is diamond, Supta is supine. We'll continue to face the front left of the mat. We're gonna lower ourselves back very gently. Place your right palm beside your right hip, left palm beside the left hip. Very gently lower <coughs> your right elbow and then the left to the floor. Now, make sure you keep, Ron, you wanna be careful. You've hurt your knees, so be careful. Yeah. You can sit out this one. Place both your elbows on the floor and then tilt your head back. Try not to raise your knees off of the floor. The moment you do that, you're putting pressure on your ankles. So you want to keep your knees down. If it's a little painful, you can bring your knees apart. Now I'm going to challenge myself. Try to keep my knees a little closer. Tilt your head back. Now press with your palms. Inhale. Let's come up. And now to get that wonderful release of the spinal extensors, we're going to do a beautiful forward fold. Rabbit posture, Shashanka. So an inhale, take your arms up to shoulder height, palms facing down. Keep inhaling, take your arms all the way overhead, palms facing in. Clasp your palms together. Remember, in any manner you've been trained, exhale, fold from the hip with a nice straight back. Lead with your chest, try to touch your forehead before your hands go down. Now keep your elbows straight, you want to make sure that your elbows are not too relaxed. This is an alert posture. If your hips come off the ground a little bit, that's okay. But if you can't push them down, that's even better. Inhale, engage your low back muscles, place your palms together, and let's come up. 
inhale and come up exhale and release we're going to take you through a posture called Ardha Matsendra posture number 24 Ardha is half Matsya's fish Matsendra is lord of the fishes half lord of the fishes tuck your left heel under your right buttock right foot crosses over the left knee make sure your right foot is flat and facing forward if you're able to go deep into this posture that's great if you're not you still should feel a twist the idea is to do the best you can on any given day so you want to keep your right foot flat push your left right knee in and torque your upper body to the right so you want to hold on to the right knee with both your hands for the moment and then right knee is up hold on to your right knee with your right hand inhale the left arm up inhale that's it is if it's hurting that's okay you want to keep your leg extended you could do that you know what if it hurts you can bring the left foot out this way keep it flat that's it beautiful that's okay exhale dip the left elbow over the right knee and and you make any adjustments you need to i know i need to make some adjustments i'm going to try and hold on to my left knee now if i don't hold on to my knee i come apart so i've got to do something and make the connection take your right hand behind you and twist your upper body to look back now if you're very very flexible and you feel this is not doing for you what it should you can bring your hand really close to your buttocks but right now i think we're all very comfortable here nori how are you doing good keep exhaling keep breathing and hold inhale release the left hand first untangle your legs let's switch legs This is a beautiful twist. It's also known as a half spinal twist. Your knees are okay, right? Yes. That's fine. Then you're just feeling a I little like tight. Yeah, you feel good, right? Yes. And actually, you know what, Darwin? It's good that you mentioned because this is a really good twist for the upper body. So what's happening is every time we twist our body, we are depriving that region of the body of uh, fresh oxygen and blood. Wow. And you, and for that, those few seconds, you feel you cannot breathe. But the time you feel wonderful is when you release, and then fresh blood exactly. rushes in, fresh oxygen rushes in, and all your glands and organs feel really well massaged. Tuck your right heel under the left buttock. Place your left foot over your right knee. Now, if you feel that's a little intense, you can make the adaptation that Darwin is showing you right now. Bring your left foot forward. I'm going to try and challenge myself. Bring it back just a little bit. We're all different and we all have our better sides. This side of my body cooperates just a little more. So I'm going to try and see if I can get into this twist a little better this time. Push your left knee in and talk your upper body to the left. So you want to hold on to your left knee with your left hand. Inhale the right arm up. Exhale, dip your right elbow over the left knee and then hold on if you can. to your right knee or to the upper left side of your left thigh and turn to look back hold it when we say hold remember it's always hold your posture not your breath inhale release the right hand first untangle your legs extend your left leg out in front of you marij asan marij is ray of light it's also named after a sage i'm not sure he probably sat in that posture forever <laughs> bend the left leg at the knee keep your bent knee a little bit to the side you want to make sure you have enough room to fold over a fold over four fold forward <clears throat> hold on to your right shin with your left hand inhale the right arm up exhale dip your torso wrap your right knee right hand around your right knee and then take your left hand from behind you want to go forward as much as you can take your left hand from behind try to clasp your fingers together once you made that connection turn to look right look over your right shoulder keep your left foot flexed inhale release your hands first this is a good posture where you might want to try using a face wash or a belt to make that connection if you have access to some kind of support or props please use them extend your right leg out bend the left leg at the knee Make sure your left knee is out just a little bit to give you some room to move forward. Hold on to your left shin with your right hand. Inhale, the left arm up. Exhale, fold forward. Wrap your left arm around your left knee. Hold on. Take your right arm from behind. 
clasp your opposite fingers. Hold on to your fingers from behind. Turn to look left. You should feel a nice opening of the right side of your shoulder. Hold up. Inhale. Release your hands first. And then keep your right leg extended where it is. Keep your left leg folded. Just bring your left knee. Remember, we're trying to do transition. So we want to see if we can move from one posture into another as smoothly as we can. Bring the left knee down to the floor. Janu Sirsha. Janu is knee. Sirsha is head. Head to knee, literally. It may not happen for all of us. I know it's not going to happen for me in the next 100 years, but the thing is to try. It may happen for Nori. I think she may be able to go forward. For some of you, it may happen. But if it doesn't, just give it a shot. Just keep going forward. Now keep your right foot flexed. Turn your upper body to face the extended leg. <clears throat> Inhale the arms up to shoulder height, palms facing down. Keep inhaling, take your arms all the way overhead, palms facing in. Clasp your palms together, exhale, fold from the hip. Actually keeping your foot flexed, there are two reasons for it. One, of course, is the obvious one, brings your hands closer to your foot. But the other one, the real, the real uh, reason for keeping your feet flexed is so you feel the stretch in the back of your legs. When you point your toes, you feel the stretch in the front. It's good to know the difference. Keep exhaling and pull. If your forehead doesn't touch your knee today, do not get discouraged. Just keep trying one millimeter every day. And remember, when you hold on to your big toes, the nerves that end in your big toes lead to the eyes. So you are refreshing your eyes at the same time. Inhale, let's come up, clasp your palms together. <laughs> Feels great, right? Exhale and release and let's switch legs. Fold the right leg in, extend the left leg out. Remember to keep your left foot flexed. Attach the sole of the right foot to the inside of the upper right thigh. Turn your upper body to face the extended leg. Bring your right knee out, down to the side. Inhale, bring your arms up to shoulder height, palms facing down. Keep inhaling, take your arms all the way overhead, palms facing down. And exhale, and fold. We have about a minute to go. Titles are rolling, so we're going to try and steal another couple of postures if we can. Keep exhaling, and pull your body forward. Inhale, let's come up. Keep your arms where they are, extend the right leg out, keep both feet flexed, Paschimottanasana, bird beak. Exhale, fold from the back, from the hips. Nice straight back. Hold on to your big toes or keep your hands right over your feet. While we're doing that, I'd like to thank our amazing crew. Great teamwork. Thank you, Z Starman and Dean Loren. And thanks to Drew Taylor, our facilitator for today. On behalf of Ron Thomas, Darwin Reyna, Indra Dudnath, and Nori Jung, this is Banu Suresh signing off, and you are watching Yoga Express. Inhale, let's come up. Maybe you could sneak in one more posture. Exhale and release. Cow face, in Indra, your favorite. Tuck your left heel under your right buttock. Cameras are still rolling, so we're going to steal one more posture. Cross your right leg over the left knee. This time, make sure that the soles of both your feet are facing the back of the room. Now, the knees are aligned one on top of the other as well as you can do them. Just make sure the sole faces. Okay, Banu. Yeah. That's a wrap for okay. show two. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. We'll start with this on the next one. Okay, thanks. Beautiful, Bonnie. Thank you. Uh, I didn't know.